My name is Desiree Stage. I'm a photographer in New York, and I'm working on a project called Live Through This, which is a collection of the portraits and stories of suicide attempt survivors as told by those survivors. I started the project because I am a suicide attempt survivor, and I was also a cutter for nine years, decided one day that I was going to be a photographer, taught myself that, and then several years into having learned how to work my camera and make art, I realized, hey, this is it. This is how I can help other people like me. The turning point was when I was sitting in a hospital room being treated like a leper right after my attempt. I just kind of made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to hurt myself anymore and that I was worth it even though I didn't necessarily feel it. But from that point it took five years for me to figure out how I was going to help other people. I conceived of the project in 2010 and didn't start shooting until late 2011, early 2012. As of last week I have photographed 15 people. The stories are all different, but they're all the same in that the person was feeling really helpless and hopeless and alone and in enough despair that they wanted to end their lives. People don't understand suicide, but if you put yourself in someone's shoes or even if you try to, like that must be an incredible amount of pain to want to end your life. I love life, so to me it's kind of crazy to think of having wanted to die and all of the things I would have missed. I'm usually the first person that they told the complete story to. And when they're telling me their story, I don't usually interrupt. I don't want it to feel directed in any way. And then right afterwards, I take them out into the world and we make a portrait. It's interesting because they're in that headspace. So they're thinking about that and they're looking at the lens. So it's kind of like you're looking someone in the eye after they've just told you this incredible story. A suicide is attempted about once every 40 seconds to a minute and a suicide is completed every 15 to 18 minutes. When the media covers suicide, it's usually suicide of a famous person or a murder-suicide. They don't cover individual suicides, so we don't really realize how frequently suicide happens and that it's the 10th leading killer in the United States. They always ask why after people have died. Why don't you ask why before? And subsequently, like, you have this resource, this gold mine of these attempt survivors. Ask them why. I really just hope that by having those stories out there, I want it to be there for people who are considering suicide. I want them to be able to Google suicide and find this, because there are so many different kinds of people in the project that I think that you'll be able to identify with, with something. The other thing I want it to do is, I want people who don't really understand it to just get a glimpse. If they just take five minutes and look at it, you can see by scrolling through these pictures and reading these stories that there really are real people. It could happen to anybody. They're people of all different walks of life. I think that makes the, the stereotypes easier to break down. I just want people to be able to talk about it because I really feel like if we can talk about it to someone that we care about, if we can say, hey, are you suicidal? Are you thinking about hurting yourself? Then that could save lives. I feel fulfilled already with this project just knowing that it's touched as many people as it has. And I think it'll just keep doing that.